this is unbelievable to me as a man, as a so-called black man. I'm just going to put Israel to the side right quick, okay? As a black man, brown man, a lot of people are being killed and murdered by the hands of police officers, uh, racists, Europeans, and including ourselves. But we understand in the knowledge we under these curses. But to those that are not in the knowledge of what we understand, they don't understand that factor at all. But we're addressing black people finally stepping up, standing up against police brutality against racism about executing their right to bear arms in the United States of America that tells you in the second amendment in the United States Constitution that you have the right to bear arms and it should not be infringed and to create your own militia okay that's in the law Romans, uh, Romans 13 for the Hebrews the Bulls obey the laws that be the powers that be because it's ordained of the most high right so if they out there and if we go out there, it's saying they go out there and execute their right to bear arms and create a militia, then you so-called law-abiding citizens, Israelites, you can't check them on that, first and foremost, okay? You guys are so upset. It's so amazing how so many brothers are so upset about what the man do. He's not in the truth. He's not in his right. So what? What the fuck that got to do with it? black man raising up other black men and women to stand up for police brutality okay injustice on our people you see what I'm saying to let this 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 these nations know that we're not allowing this no more and you brothers get all upset Shalom on Prince the while you brothers get all upset and want to pull scriptures and that's not the way we gonna be delivered out of Babylon you Negroes is high, high, high off religion. Shalom. First and foremost, call Loyim La Yah, Bashim Yah Shai, Bashim Rakakudash. The ones to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone, the men who taught us this truth. Much love, greetings, and salutation to the hopeful elect tabernacle of David, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And um, this is the reason why the scriptures say in First John, the fourth chapter. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit whether they be of the most high, because many false niggas are going out into the world. And, uh, you know, what was being said in this little clip right here, it just shows of an individual who don't have the spirit at all, or else they would actually be agreeing with the scriptures, you know, rather than their own vain opinion. All right, and um, the scriptures say, you know, you shall know the, the, the tree by its fruits. And it also tells us in the scriptures that the fruit determines if the tree have been dressed. And uh, you're going to co-sign a character that's actually controlled by the enemy. If that's who you're directing your followers to co-sign and to give praise to, then um, you're just as complicit with these same false fake leaders that are leading our people to destruction. If you buying what this guy is saying, well, I got a scripture for you. Let's get a... Uh, Let's get Proverbs. Let's get Proverbs 14 and 15. And it reads, The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going. And, uh, you know, we're one of the main camps that then pretty much, you know, alerted you about this uh, Grandmaster Fate guy. Okay. He's clearly a, 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 a agent. He's a controlled opposition that's set up by the enemies, the powers that be. And you got simple 
men or who were once considered, you know, men of the Lord, all right, because this guy had been around for, you know, decades in the truth. And um, if he ever had the spirit, you can tell now he doesn't have the spirit. All right, the spirit that was once on him is, is, has been far removed from this guy. Okay? This guy, he's, he's, he's bugging the hell out. And he's leading uh, uh, people that follow him to destruction because why would you co-sign a character, an agent? Now, let me show you something real quick. All right? This same guy who he's hyping up. I want y'all to hear something real quick. I reached out and let this touched pass real the quick. sky. What makes a business? And I'm talking to NFAC members only at this point. Black boots, black pants, black button-down shirt, black mask, shotgun, semi-automatic, or rifle, pistols, thigh posters, or under your arm. If you're not in that uniform, won't be in the formation. Period. No fake guns. No nothing. I'm not playing with y'all this time. I'm trying to keep you safe. So you just heard him. Like he gave the whole rundown on the, I guess, the equipment that they're gonna need when they go out there, and uh, I guess, you know, join, you know, the next, you know, the next uh, uh, stage, the next set. All right which is going to be in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. You know, I guess um, to demand for justice for um, Breonna Taylor. And one of the last things you heard him say was fake guns. He said, I'm not going to play. I'm, let, let me back this up. All right, I didn't, I didn't make that up. Let me, let me back this up so y'all can, like, hear what he just said. And this is supposed to be the dude that's standing up and, uh, Trying to get salvation for you in America. It's a lot. Let's let, let's hear him again. Shotgun, semi-automatic, or rifle. Pistols, thigh holsters, or under your arm. If you're not in that uniform, won't be in formation. Period. No fake guns. No nothing. I'm not playing with y'all this time. I'm trying to keep you safe. He said, no fake guns, no nothing. I'm not playing with y'all this time. So that, that, that sends me to believe that when they made that big scene on so-called Fourth of July, when they had all those jakes marching in formation on that street with all those, those, those big guns in their hand, that, that, that makes me question those people that were out there marching with those guns were those even real guns see when i when i did a video on that back when that happened i said those i i said it i said those are more likely airsoft guns these are so they're walking around with airsoft prop guns now hey thanks for uh letting those so-called white supremacists know that y'all out there just bullshitting you know you're walking around with freaking airsoft <laughs> prop guns esau don't play around with fake guns they deal with the real deal okay that's that's their toys that's what they mess with they mess with the real shit okay so he just literally admitted that these men and women some of them had fake guns but yet that's what you're supposed to uh, put your trust into right this is what's going to uh, bring salvation. You know, this is going to get uh, a justice for your people. Oh, man. Let me get a, 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 a script. And let's get uh, Matthew 15. In verse 14, it says, let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Okay. And this dude don't even want to deal with the scriptures anymore. He's upset that we're using scriptures to tell you 
that this guy, all right, he's not the way. And the way they're going about it is not the way we're going to get up out of here. So that lets you know off top that the spirit is not with that guy. And he's directing you to a guy who's out there claiming to be what he isn't, who's more than likely controlled opposition. All right, he's a, a, a self-proclaimed messiah when we know that uh, uh, J. Go, J. Edgar Hoover, he once made the statement. He said, there will never be another black messiah unless we create him. And here it is. Our people are really trusting in this guy. That dude is nothing but a seducing, another seducing spirit, man. That's here to lead a lot of you jakes to the death. Okay? But, um, hey... See, guys like Maharaka and different guys like him, these are men who are set up to lead the two-thirds away from the Mosai because the Lord does not want the two-thirds to, to, to make it. All right, two, that's why it's, the, the prophecies say two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Okay? And you got guys like Maharaka and others that's going to uh, be stumbling blocks for the two thirds, okay, they're gonna they're gonna be blind, following after blind leaders. All right, and that dude is waxing worse and worse, man. Like the scriptures say, uh, 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 evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Are we, it's it, hey, it's a lot of messiness going on, man, and it's and it's starting to become uh, more. Clear to those who the Lord is uh, dealing with, whose minds he's opened up. They're starting to see cut and clear that we are the men of the Lord, man. Because you got do the guys in Israel that's uh, leading you to death, man. They're telling you it's all right to get vaccines. They're telling you the, uh, the, the mark of the beast is not the RFID chip. And then you got a guy that's telling you that there's nothing wrong with a, 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 a false leader controlled by the enemy. That's basically being used to set you up. It's all right to 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 co-sign him standing up for for his people, as if all all these jakes that are being killed out there is not judgment from the Most High. The scriptures say evil men understand not judgment. Let me get that. I think it's a uh, Proverbs twenty. Was it twenty eight? Yeah, Proverbs 28 and 5, it says, Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord Yahweh understand all things. We understand why Jake is out there, you know, uh, being, you know, attacked, all right, being uh, murdered in the streets, you know, by these, uh, you know, modern day Roman centurions. We understand why. All right, because we understand judgment, which the Heavenly Father, he's known by the judgments which he ex executes. And we know that Esau is just the sword of the Most High. And to quote Romans 13, which he tried to quote and he broke it down totally wrong. All right, let's get it. This is uh, Romans 13 and 1. It says, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of the Most High. The powers that be are ordained of the Most High. Because why? Because the Heavenly Father rules in the kingdom of men. And he chose Esau to rule. To be the final uh, 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 nation that would be in power, you know, be prior to the Lord coming back to uh, bring vengeance upon the world and deliver his elect. All right. So Esau was ordained to be ruling in his time. Right. Just like he was ordained. 2,000 years ago to reign as the Romans, all right? It says, whosoever therefore resist of the power, which is what uh, Grandmaster Jay is actually doing. He's trying to resist the power, okay? And, and any of our people that try to take matters into their own hands instead of waiting upon the Lord till he rise up to the prey, resist of the ordinance of the Mosai. And it seems that you're actually, is you, you're with the resistance of the power, Coming against us for telling you the exact, exactly what the scriptures say, and you actually uh, uh, criticizing us for that. You taking little uh, shots and, and you know little slick, you know little jabs at us, man. 
That shows you that you're you're an anti Messiah, man. You're against the will of the Most High. Okay, you're with resisting the power, because the scriptures say not to resist the power. And what does it mean to resist? It doesn't mean to oh we don't don't follow uh, because he tried to say, well it says not to uh, resist the, the the powers that be. So that means that we got to keep their law. So that means under law we have the right to uh, form militias and. You know, we have the uh, right to bear arms and all that. Well, that's not what this scripture is saying. This scripture is saying don't fight against them. Don't try to overthrow the powers that be. Don't try to go to war or battle with them. Okay? If if, if that was the case, then Yahweh Shai, when they apprehended him, he would have called down those angels. And they would have got it popping back then and we'd already be in the kingdom. But that was not the will of the Most High. All right. So it says, whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of the Most High, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. And all of our people that are uh, uh, blindly following this guy because they're too damn simple to see the obvious, guess what? They're going to bring uh, damnation on themselves. Okay. It says, for rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good. And thou shalt have praise of the same, for he is a minister of the Most High to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid, for he beareth not the sword in fame. For he is the minister of the Most High, a revenger, to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. So if you try to, you know, take vengeance on Cain, you're gonna bring, you're gonna be damned, like it tells you in uh, Genesis. Okay. So this, this isn't your uh, uh, battle. And he tried to basically mock us by saying, you know, uh, we, we like to quote scriptures and say, this is not how we're going to make it out of Babylon. Well, okay, well, let's see how y'all, let, let's see if y'all make it out. Okay? And you supposed to be a, a, a prophet, a man of the Lord? No, man, you, you, you're a false prophet, man. Okay? And you're going to get people destroyed out there. All right? Let me get uh, Job 19 and 29. And it says, Be ye afraid of the sword, for wrath bring up the punishments of the sword, that you may know that there is a judgment. Okay? So the Mosai, he's the one that brings the judgment. So when Jake do get killed out there, yeah, it seems like an injustice, you know? But that's still judgment at the end of the day. You can't get between the Heavenly Father and His judgments. That that makes you wicked. That makes that means you're evil. Okay. So uh, let me go from there, and let me get uh Psalms forty four. This is what King David said. Psalms forty four, and uh, I'm gonna start at verse. Four, it says, Thou art my king, O power, command deliverances for Jacob. Do, through thee we will punish, it's like we will push down our enemies. Through thy name will we tread them under that rise up against us. For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. But thou hast saved us from our enemies and hast put them to shame that hate us. Okay, not our sword. And that's what uh, Grandmaster Jay, he trusts, his, he trusts in the sword. He thinks, you know, uh, rallying up, you know, a, a, a few hundred lost Jakes, you know, who, who, who's, who's really trying to, to, to you know, to, to seek another way out instead of through uh, the, the straight gate, you know. And they're all going to be destroyed following this guy. Walk got them walking out there with some with with, with prop guns, man. That could have that scene out there in Georgia. That could have been a a, a a a messy situation, man. You know, Esau would have picked you niggas off easily, easily. You know, but um, hey, we you you are ne you you are necessary to the will of the Most High, man. You know, because you had men in the past that did the same things. 
Okay? And you also, we need you false prophets out there to co-sign this, uh, this type of uh, activity. Because you're, you're showing your true uh, spirit that you're not of, of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. And there's another clip out there. Y'all forget which uh, brother uploaded it, but you can see that this guy, he's he's double minded, man. This this guy is really he's just a Mr. Potato Head, man. You know, this guy is a he was a failed fake fraudulent DJ. OK, this guy ran for president, failed at that. This guy had uh, 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 in, in Charleston, uh, North Carolina, where that shooting happened at in that church. And this guy talking about uh, 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 all lives matter and that we all need to stop being divided, this, that, and the third. And now all of a sudden he's Mr. Not, not fucking around. Coalition, you know, uh, a pro-black leader, Grandmaster J, ex-military. We finna demand justice. We, you know, making all type of threats. What a freaking joke, man. And you a man of the Lord co-signing this, man? And con. You, so you're gonna ju you're gonna justify the wicked and condemn the just? Whatever, man. All right, but hey, you you, you lose all credibility, man. Anybody that still uh, follows you, all right, after doing what you're doing and and, and what you're co-signing and what you're saying, and you got a problem with brothers bringing out the scriptures, man. Anybody that follow you, man. Hey. You're more than likely you're you're not you're not gonna make it, man. You're not of the uh the elect. You're more than likely of the two thirds, man. All right. That's this is not how we're gonna get out of here. All right. So uh, anyway, you know I'm I'm gonna leave with that, man. Matter of fact, let me leave off with one more scripture. Let me get a uh, Second Peter. Second Peter two and one. And this is what you got to be careful careful of, man. All right, 2 Peter 2 and 1, it says, But there were false prophets among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privately shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And in that video... This guy, Maharika, he's speaking evil of the truth. But he's supposed to be an Israelite, a, 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 a prophet. You know? First of all, this guy. Okay? Talking all kind of shit with, it, with his head covered with, with dreads. He's, this guy ain't in the truth, man. All right? This guy is not in the truth, man. He, he, he does not have the spirit. Okay? He has the spirit of, of, of Satan on him. He's just another a wolf in sheep's clothing. Okay. Anyway, you know, and this is a perfect title too. All right, uh, the brother GMS Austere Man, perfect example of why you shouldn't listen to every Israelite group, which is why I quoted in First John uh, four and one. But love, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit whether they be of the Most High, because many false prophets are going out into the world. A lot of fake niggas, they're out there, man. So beware. All right, the minute of the great millstone, we shoot it to you straight. We, hey, we, we give it to you raw and uncut. All right, you can love it or hate it, man. All right. Anyway, I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor to y'all. And until next time, I say, Shalom, where about the thumb?